Alright, this is Dead Pixels, and it's a little 8 bit zombie game. It pulls from a lot of the zombie genre. It pulls from Left 4 Dead 2, obviously. Um, and it also pulls from a lot of the zombie movies, and you see a lot of. Uh, a lot of odes to uh, the Robert Rodriguez film that was part of Grindhouse, like El Rays, and you see a lot of uh, odes to Dawn of the Dead and other uh, key zombie movies genre and so what it basically is it's a little thing where it's a similar to Left 4 Dead where you're playing out these scenarios you know Left 4 Dead you had uh, No Mercy and all these different goals and these different like movie posters you're playing out well in this you're playing out little 8-bit movies and there's dead pixels or there is the solution and there's the last stand and I guess for my little uh, quick let's play video look at Dead Pixels, and this is the original campaign for the uh, game. You can play co-op, uh, I don't have anyone to play co-op with right now because it's early, uh, but uh, we're just going to play single player to play normal. Really the only difference between the, the levels and difficulty is that it's the more streets, you have to, like easy is just 10 streets, you know, almost 20, then you have 30 on hard, and you have 30 streets. But there's no auto saves on Hardest, and the AI director hates you, which basically makes you seem to throw more, and more zombies at you. And that is really how the difficulty is stacked up. Like hard, when I played hard, the first 10 levels are almost the same as the easy 10 levels, and the 20 levels are almost the same as the normal. But then the last 10 levels are a nightmare. And so that's really the way the difficulty is stacked. Uh, the hard levels, the early levels are easy, easy, easy. And you get last 20, 21 through 30 at the levels are just insane. So enough talking, now let's play. As you see these stories, there's a toxic waste uh, spill, and this causes the dead to rise. It's so now the uh, streets are overran with the zombies. screen and now let's get uh, let's get to killing some zombies. So we are currently 20 streets away from salvation. I'm not gonna play out the whole thing. I'm just gonna show you a general the gist of the game and you can decide if you want to buy it or not. Uh, my personal opinion is the game is well worth the money, especially when it's on Steam set right now for $1.99. But uh, basically, you move with the WASD keys like everything else, you use the mouse to shoot. Uh, I tend to avoid zombie fights because ammo is limited. And you have an inventory system, and you can search buildings. Um, there's a trader. You can the trader, you can buy a for your person. And you can also search stores, almost uh, get the chambers both action. Pick that up, pick up the wider. And pick up a box of ammo. Alright, so now we go to the trader and sell most of this stuff. So we have both actions. I'm going to keep my shotgun. And so I'm going to get the cell, the lighter. I think that's all I had. I'm going to keep my hand grenades. And so that is the inventory and trading system. Uh, surprisingly, it's easier than the DayZ uh, inventory system, which you all know I played quite a bit. There's no trader, not really ignoring anything to sell. But the inventory system of this is, is cake compared to DayZ, where it takes you know, five minutes to pick up the one item. So we can search the uh, there's some shot, shotgun ammo. I need that. 
can search this house. Oh, we found a handgun. That chamber's full of action. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the lighter just to sell it. And so right now, most of the, uh, here's the trader again. Most of the streets are, you know, it's easy to get through. Uh, but you will want to upgrade your character as you go on because, uh, well, the zombies become quite a bit faster, quite a bit uh, stronger, and they become quite a bit more numerous. And so, once you get enough money, you can upgrade your health, your running speed, your weapon skill, your melee skill, uh, your strength, your bargaining skill, and your luck. Uh, they're pretty much self-explanatory. The bargaining skill helps lower the prices on up future upgrades and everything else and that lets you sell your stuff for more. Uh, melee skill, you have a melee option on this. You can hit them with your gun. Um, the weapon skill helps you with your aim and it makes the weapon you more precise with the weapon. Running speed is usually what I go for because I like to run through the levels. As you already noticed, I don't like to uh, engage the zombies unless I have to. And so I try to get my running speed up as high as I can, that and my health, and I can kind of run through the levels. Yes, I am a coward, but uh, cowards live. So take all this, I'm going to go back to the uh, trader and sell all this. So as you can see, it, it becomes a bit of a, uh, like a role-playing game where you're trying to amass a lot of stuff so in order to uh order to upgrade your character um and you see i owe to left 4 dead 2 right there r.i.p bill as you know bill died in the sacrifice take this gasoline take the painkillers take cut the toy and search this house and take all so I'm trying to get my first upgrade. We have not seen El Rays yet. I know we want to see it in the mall. Take them all again. So the more you carry, the slower your guy gets, especially if you go over weight and uh, possibly carry. So if you go over that weight, uh, your character begins to run really, really slow. I may have enough no close point. And so when searching they're a little bit cheaper, twenty dollars cheaper, but it's still not my price range, I need twenty more bucks. So I'm gonna kill my first zombie. So now I have enough to buy my first one. Coward, he likes to run from zombie fights. So now I run just a little bit faster. And as you see, the game is telling me that my strategy is what I should be doing. There's a boomer, he spits stuff. So now. a bunch of weapons here that I can sell those. Well, I don't mind getting a better weapon, but I haven't really found the one I want yet. I'll take all of these as well. Take all. Alright, I'm overweight. Alright, as you can see, this sucks. So now I'm going to have to go back into this house. And so, let's see, what do I want to get rid of? I'm 
had to drop something. Uh, let's see what weight. What's the weight? Alright, there we go. I'm underweight finally. So now I can actually run again. I'm gonna wait till I find a trader before I can pick anything else up. There should be a trader in the mall. There's the Umbrella Corporation I owe to Resident Evil and their zombies. I've not seen El Rays yet though. So here's a trader. I can probably sell all the stuff I've been carrying. Uh, Code Veronica, another O2 Resident Evil. Okay, now I have to fight some zombies. Or, I can't juke them like I'm Walter Payton out here. And just run. So now we're on Street 17. Start getting some new zombies. As you can see, this shotgun really sucks. But I haven't found a better weapon yet. And so, all in all, the game is uh, pretty good. I enjoy it. Uh, there are different zombies you find as you go along. Uh, you've only seen a few of them, but you've seen a handful. But there are a considerable number of uh, different zombies that you'll be facing all throughout, and the director will, you know, he'll throw curveball at you sometimes, as you saw in the mall, where he just threw a whole bunch of zombies there at the end uh, to try to trip me up. I was able to get around them, but you know, sometimes you have to fight to get through. And as you can see, the these streets start to get more, more packed with zombies, and they're tougher zombies as well. And what really sucks is that I'm still with this starter shotgun, and so the running speed comes in handy. And so for $1.99, I certainly, uh, certainly suggest you get it. Uh, that, that's gonna be it. Uh, you know, I played through four streets in the mall. And so you basically saw the, the inventory system, you saw the search system, you saw the different zombies, and, you know, that's really all there is to the game. It's a fun game, um, especially for two bucks, I mean, you can't really go wrong. And um, I highly suggest it. Thanks for watching.